Hello everyone. So today I'm going to share some concepts on suspense and breezes, their advantages, disadvantages, and we will talk about some of the famous suspense and breezes around the globe. After the evolution of beam breeze and arts breezes were raised, engineers were forced to look for new approaches. Eventually, they combined the features of simple rope breeze with the remarkable strength of steel chains and cables the result was more than suspense and breeze let us talk about some basic concepts when the beam is in horizontal position there will be gravity acting downward at every point and it will induce bending movement while when the beam is in vertical position gravity will be acting downward but will not induce bending movement and there will be compressive stress. Concrete has good compression than shear or tensile strength. Increasing the length will increase the bending movement. Well, to sustain the bending movement, we can increase the width and depth of the beam, but this will increase the weight of the beam. So, suspension breezes came in existence as they are useful as they can achieve longer mean span when compared to other type of breeze. The material time and labor required will be less as compared to others. It may be able to withstand earthquake. It can attain high heights. So now moving on to how does the suspension bridge work. So the suspension bridge consists of a horizontal span with towers connected. And of course, the tower has their tower foundation. It contains suspension cable, which are attached to the horizontal span vertically. The suspension cables are attached to the main cable, and then the main cable is attached to the anchors at the end. Due to the loads on the span, suspension cables are in tensile stress, which is in vertical direction. The entire main cable takes the load of suspension cable and hence the tensile stress is induced in main cable. As the main cable is connected to tower, so it transfers some load to tower and rest to the anchor tensile. As tower is vertical, so it takes high compressive stress. Cables are made of material which has good tensile strength and towers with the material having good compressive strength. We must keep in mind that the suspension should be equally spaced which results in less bending movement in the span as the effective length between two supports is less, as the breeze is lightweight and can have long span. Now we have the demerits of suspension bridge. It cannot take heavy loads. Flexibility becomes dangerous during high-speed winds. It cannot be made in soft foundation as compression forces high at foundation. Because of heavy weight of trains, it creates a lot of vibration so we do not have suspension breezes for railway. Okay, so let us learn about some facts about suspension breeze. On number one, we have Menai Breeze. Menai Breeze was the first ever suspension breeze and it is still in use. So on number 2 we have Yangsigang Yangtze Suspension Bridge of China. It is the world's longest double deck suspension bridge. On number 3 we have Akashi Kaikyu Suspension Bridge of Japan. It is considered as world's longest bridge with a length of 1991 meter. On number 4 we have the Goma Narrow Bridge, being the world's third longest bridge of that time collapsed because it was made a way more flexible and could have been prevented by making the deck thicker. On number 5 we have Milau Viaduct Bridge, which is the world's tallest bridge with a structure height of 343 meters. That's all for today, thank you.